Well, it's time for a channeling, I think. <clears throat> it's drawing me in this morning. I just um, sat and shuffled some cards. And um, the first one coming out was Aquarius. And I mean, we are going into the time of Aquarius and it's, well, I don't know much about astrology, but they say it's pivotal point now. In these months, uh, yeah, so going from one 2,000 year cycle to the next 2,000 year cycle or something like that. I'm not into all the astrology. I listen to it and I hear and I feel and I sense what they say, but I don't remember it and I cannot do it myself. But I, it's, it feels right uh, for me to listen to, to these astrologers. Well, the next one was <clears throat> air, number eight. And this one, when I read the text, because I'm not very much into this uh, reading from the textbooks, but I do it intuitively and, uh, and also sometimes I read the text and I did that today. And, and this one was about integrity, authenticity and having the courage to see beyond delusions, illusions. So kind of cracking yourself open to... Um, to seeing truth, to seeing what is, and not trying to hide. And then the third and last one was the, the same, <laughs> oh, not kind of the same, but yeah. The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. And this one is the first one in the Work Your Light Oracle deck by Rebecca Campbell. So this is the first one of all the cards. And it's also saying something about <clears throat> have faith, know that life has you, have you, cracked open it, it's happening for you, not to you, let it come through, let yourself break and know that even though it's not smooth sailing all the time, as it says in the book, you are held. You are so magnificently a part of the universe as well as everybody else. And you can shine and perhaps it feels like breaking down, but perhaps also take it like breaking open into the truth of you. So these two cards, I think they are magnificent to back up this new airy or era. <clears throat> of uh, Aquarius. So perhaps that's why me and so many I know feel or sense so many changes and, and sleep patterns that are disturbed and saying goodbye to things and new to others and <sighs> making big decisions. And the question is how can we be uh, at peace with these disturbances so I have this well yesterday I was for a walk and I had this great improvement I don't know what to call it but it was like <clears throat> this I like to call, call him the commander but it's the strong energy of, uh, of like um, this starship commander He's very logical and analytical and, and, and kind of hard, cold in his way of speaking. And then he just came very mm, significantly through me. And, then, and now I also have this more Pleiadian-like mm, female uh, <laughs> cloud <laughs> around me. I don't know what to call it. but. So it's like I have these two very different sides in me and, and I just wanted to let them speak. Perhaps there's something in it with these cards. So enjoy. <laughs> oh yes, you still think it's funny. <laughs> That's me laughing, but he's trying to come through. <laughs> oh, you still think it's funny, huh? It's funny because you cannot realize what this is that is happening, going on, because it is right. We stepped even deeper into you last 
uh, yesterday when we, you were out on this walk. <coughs> because we want to have these energies coming through you. It's kind, it's, it's part of these um, changes, you could call them, that is going on, which is not changes that is going on. It's nature unfolding. It's universal nature unfolding through all of humanity, all of the planet, all of the universe, the galaxy that you are involved with, and also all the galaxies outside of your galaxy, because it, this is one big entanglement. So if you get caught up in your own little stories, you miss the grander point. And that is why we pointed this to, through to the card of Aquarius, because yes, you are entering this 2000 year cycle of the new energies that is supported by this uh, very visionary energy of the Aquarius. <coughs> so you cannot lose time and energy being caught up in your personal stories. It's, there's no time for that. Well, you can do that, but then you will feel like you're missing out on something. And that is because you will be missing out on something. You will be supported in the system and you will be the supporter of the system. And the system is not dangerous. It's not the matrix or anything like that. It's just the natural unfolding of this force of life energies. So, so it's time for change. It's just, it's just <clears throat> the natural unfolding of this life that you call it. In our perspective, it looks a bit different than yours. So we see it uh, on a grander scale. We see it from another perspective. We see it not as a personal thing, but as a community thing, the universal community. And therefore we beg you, we ask of you, we want you to see, or we would wish us for you to see with open eyes what's happening. Getting caught up in emotions and, and, and smaller waves of uh, feelings and, uh, these old thought forms that are so cracked open. It's so obvious. If you want to see, you can see it. It's obvious that the old thought forms, they do not work anymore. They do not serve you. They do not serve the whole. They do not serve the universe. They do not serve any of us, whatever us is. So we would recommend you to allow yourself to just sit. We have said this many times and we will keep on saying this to just sit with yourself and take a great grand look at yourself how caught up in your own little reality are you are you feeling fear are you feeling lonely are you feeling that you are not good enough that you have missed some goal that will never come back are you scared of what's going on around you? Are you scared of losing yourself into something bigger? Well, we can turn up all these questions. We can turn them upside down and calm you. And now we will let the other energies speak because we are in co-creation, all of us. <clears throat> this is right what he said. Many of you, not all of you, but many of you are afraid. You have old fears in your system. And it's not something that you should be ashamed of. It's not something that you should try to hide. It's not anything with, to do with you. These fears that you have the body, the capacity in your body to hmm, keep on going into circles. You also have the capacity to free yourself from the circle of the fear. It doesn't have to go round and round and round. Just pick this fear up in your hand and put it to your heart center and love it and see it and see beyond it. Where does this fear stem from? Not from the historical matter of fact. You can always, always point to these situations where somebody failed and you felt hurt. But it's not what we're talking about because that, that's just the failed analytical human mind that makes these assumptions and keep them going. Now we want you to take this fear and see it not as your own because it is not, but see it as this kind of energy form that has contracted, that has been drawing energy in to keep something more, should we say, stuck 
because it was not time. It was not time to open it, but it is time now. See this fear of yours as a tied knot and see it with gentle hands of perhaps whatever your system resonates with, but see it that gentle hands, perhaps the wings of the angels or the hands of the loving mother of all mothers. Calmly, nicely, lovingly softening the fear and just with every little pain that comes up in your system, love that. Take it. See what it is. A cry for help. A wanting, a longing to be loved. Whatever comes up, whatever fear or pain arises in this grand <laughs> nut of pain, see through it. See the little child that is so lost because it wasn't seen as it needed to be seen. But now you can see it because the fear is not yours. It's just the natural order of things. And you now have these grown up eyes so you can see your own fear, not even as your own, but as a collective, or should we say, a universal fear of being lost, of being alone, of being not seen, and having doubt. What is love if it is not making me secure? And that leaves you cracked open. What is love if it doesn't make me feel secure? What is love if it does not make me feel secure? That is a heartbreaking fear. But we say, my friend, our beloved, beloved human friends, the love that still has this fear inside or attached to it is not the deepest love. You must sink even deeper. You must sink even deeper into this root of the rose to really sense, to really feel and experience so deep in your soul that no human can make you secure at this level. No soul can make you secure at this level. Only God, the universe, in essential yourself. Only you have you. Only you can love. In this way, that makes you feel so secure that you really, really, really just know and resonate this truth. And that is the essence, the truth of love. Whenever you reach out to anyone to feel safe, that is not the essential truth. It is still love, but it's not this love we are talking about. Love with a capital L. <clears throat> and yes, we come back because you put so much attention to the love between people. And we think that it isn't distraction. Some people say that we are too harsh, that we do not understand human life, but we do understand some of the dynamics of the human life. And if you do not see this also from our perspective, also we don't want you to see it like the only truth, but include this, if you like, to have a grander perspective on the word love. Include this in your 
daily life with this beautiful lady just said before the lady like energy that came through that was the mother of all mothers and we love her dearly too and she also softened our hearts so we stand for another kind of truth that is to be integrated in this new era the understanding that love is a frequency that love can be yes in exchange between people but that you are always in your own field your own space your own frequency field and is not it is um you shouldn't be bothered if you can go into resonance with whatever particular human being you would like to go into resonance with you should feel this energy this frequency of love as your own because that is also truth and now we need to come in again can you see this dichotomy of the two ways of speaking about love it is the same it is felt differently and it is up to you to feel what it does to your system because it is truth what he says this masculine that we love dearly in our ways of loving you should really sink into this and have it as your own your own beautiful loving frequency of life of love of trust of joy of fulfillment that is so it is so much you you can be nothing else than this it's your nature and as he said and as we will say and that we will guess you will resonate with it is so wonderful to be met in this resonance field where two become more than just these two how many you are if you are 8 or 12 or 50 it will expand this field of resonance but it's not changing your essence it's just expanding upon it so do not lose yourself into anything two people eight people 12 people 50 people hundreds of people you will always be your true essence of love essence of life yes essence of life expanding on it in this beautiful room of resonance with others but always being your own core your own strength your own core frequency you can be present, be you, be your kind of love, your frequency of love. And you can lose yourself into someone or someone on a grander a number. But you never truly use, lose yourself. You just use yourself as the frequency you are and expanding on it you are always you yeah i 
I think. But that's just a personal thought. This is perfect for many people to go into this new era to really understand what it is to be this core frequency. Because so many things are changing and so many things are expanding. And we can be afraid of losing ourselves. But as they say, we shouldn't. We should just be the love that we are. <laughs> Thank you for now. See you around. Enjoy.